The crew departs from Ningbo for the Zhoushan Islands. Central High Street has a vintage air, tracing history across the Zhoushan Islands. <laughs> The crew takes in the murals on stone houses and dines on yellow croakers. <laughs> the ocean scenery here is truly marvellous. You're watching the series Along the Coast. These islands are all under the administration of Zhou Shan, which lies in the East China Sea to the south of the Yangtze River estuary and outside Hangzhou Bay. It's bordered by the cities of Shanghai, Hangzhou, and Ningbo. Here, the water that flows between the many islands are their streets, and the local people make good use of their unique, rich resource. For example, they've developed Phoenix Island into a resort with a five-star hotel. In the old days, the only means of transportation between the islands was by boat, but when the weather was bad, the waters would be quite choppy, and communication between the islanders and the mainland would be cut. But in 1999, the construction of five cross-sea bridges in Zhou Shan began, and they were open to traffic in 2009. The five bridges have also accelerated economic development in Zhou Shan. It's now a fashionable and youthful city with wide roads, neat green areas, and high buildings. People began to move to the Zhou Shan Islands during the Neolithic Age more than 5,000 years ago. Around 2,000 years ago, the central government set up the administration of Dinghai County in Zhou Shan during the spring and autumn period. Central High Street developed from the late Ming Dynasty to the early Qing Dynasty, and some of the original buildings have been preserved. The street, little more than 200 meters long, was once lined with stores doing brisk business. Despite several renovations, the street has retained some of its original look and feel. The woman takes the reporter to the second floor. The stairway is very narrow. There's a vintage lamp in the stairwell. Mrs. Lo's room is spartanly decorated. Her children live elsewhere, but they come to visit her when they can. Oh, 
，那就是看着这个街的变化发展了。哎，这个我连知中国给你味道好，嗯，又好会瞧。哎，没想到这个阳台这么窄。When a renovation project was carried out on the street two years ago, the local government instructed the workers to retain the old look of the street. Mrs. Lur says that this is the reason she and her neighbours love where they live. Sitting here, comfortable? Ah, comfortable. That's the best. Ah, you know, 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 you know,
are model boats, shell carvings and drawings detailing the life of fishing families. There's also a cafe where you can sip a cup of freshly ground coffee and people watch. The performers of the flea dance give a comedic performance. The crew searches for the secrets hidden in stone houses by the sea. The series along the coast continues the crew is about to leave central high street when they notice a beautiful sculpture at its entrance the inscription mentions something called the flea dance the flea dance became popular in Dinghai in the Qing Dynasty. In 1922, a teacher named Zhang Xiaoshan, a native of Dinghai, choreographed this dance based on the story Master Ji fighting against the God of Fire. And this made the flea dance even more popular. A local resident says that the flea dancers will rehearse today, so the crew decides to go over and have a look. Many local residents have already shown up to watch. The crew didn't expect such a lively scene. The acting of the children is especially funny. It's a couple's dance. The man dances in a measured gait with his toes pointing outwards in a half squat. The woman dances as if to escape the man's reach. The loud noise of the gongs and drums adds to the cheery mood, and every dancer wears a comic expression. One specter says it's known as the flea dance because the dancer's movements are like jumping fleas. <laughs> Ms. Chung and her elder brother learned the flea dance from He Jifu, a veteran flea dancer. After he passed away, Ms. Chung and her brother began to teach the flea dance. Many kindergartens in Bai Chuan teach the flea dance, and that's where these kids learned it. Mrs. Chung and her brother say they hope that this special form of folk dance can be preserved forever. Now, 
。不对，那要怎么样才对啊？要把脖子往前伸，往前伸，这样，这样对不对？对吧？再把手往前，手要往前。你喊预备起，然后我们一起做，好不好？好不好？好、啊。一二三，预备起。<笑>每一种舞蹈，它都是这个地方一种文化生活的体现。看到这么热闹的跳蚤舞，也能够想到以前这里的庙会一定很热闹。这里他们在海边的生活一定也是非常的快乐。生活在这儿，看着这种舞蹈，就是一种幸福。The stained walls, the old streets, and the ancient houses in the old urban area of Denghai have nurtured the local folk art. Each of the 1,390 plus islands of Zhoushan is unique, so the crew heads to another island by boat. Zhoushan 分为两区两线，结束了定海区的行程，我们现在要前往的是圣寺线。那交通工具呢，就是我身后的这艘船了。出发吧。Zhoushan is in the middle of a busy shipping lane. The ships stir up the silt, make the water muddy. It takes two hours for the crew to reach Huanglong Island in Shangsi County. We see this Huanglong Island. We see that on the side, there are some fish. And here, it seems that there are some fish that are being sold. This fish is selling. This fish is selling. This fish is selling. This fish is selling. 买大，大的七块一斤，小点的呢？小的五块。小的五块啊？六块。哦，这都是刚捞上来的吗？就这个船吗？ Local residents say that fishing boats come to the island every day, and that the fishermen sell their catch on the dock. The village radio station announces the day's catch, and those villagers who want to buy fish head to the docks to buy them. And the price is pretty cheap. The crew heads towards Zhe Aoshi Village on Huanglong Island. A large stretch of stone houses appears off in the distance. And a long flight of stone steps leading up the hill is flanked by these stone houses. The stone blocks are closely sealed together with only a little cement. The crew hooks up with Wang Kui Kui, who will show them around the village. <laughs> Mr. Wang explains that the villagers built stone houses because they live by the sea. The stone houses are strong enough to withstand a hit from a typhoon, and they're not easily eroded by seawater or the saline air. These houses, built 30 to 40 years ago, are still very solid. The raw material is granite, which has a dense structure and is very hard, although it is easy to chip it into various shapes and sizes. <laughs> 
นี่ค่ะเราจะจุพอรอยาลิพอรอยาเนี่ยจะชูหัวจะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัวจะเป็นนางกระเป๋จะชูหัว嗯，挺幸福的。很爱幸福的，这里女人挺幸福的。嗯。Most men in the village support their families by fishing, while their wives do all the household chores. The crew often sees villagers carrying their catch in the street or cleaning fish in their courtyards. The village has just over 2,000 residents. Mr. Wang takes them to the home of Mr. Wu to take a look. How是怎么会这个岛上五个村子就这个村子全都盖起了这种石头房子？那个是那是因为有一个特色，就是我们这个城里边的大的石头比较多。就上面能看到好几块大石头。哎，对对对对对，就是就是本来这个山上这一片都
是菜板凳啊。没有刺的。嗯。这个鱼肉特别的嫩，一点刺都没有，就这么大一块，你看。嗯。一点刺儿都没有，嗯，而且是因为这种煮的方法，还挺入味的，有这种咸菜的味儿进去。Mr. Wang and Mr. Wu sit and drink fish soup while chatting. It's easy to sense that the villagers are very satisfied with their simple life. Walking on the stone road again, the crew gets a sense of the attraction of this place. From up here, one can see boats approaching the harbour ready to offload their catch. Good. 在这个小村庄呢，逛了一整天，真的很喜欢这种感觉，就是用自己的脚步走遍小村庄的角角落落，感受这里最地道的渔家生活。这里的人们生活很简单，但是衣食住行都和海密不可分，而同时呢，也有着渔家人的淳朴和热情。现在天色已经渐渐暗下来了，我们即将离开这个岛。那其实，在舟山，每一个岛都很有特色，都很不一样。我们去看看下一个岛吧。The bold colors and imaginative subjects of these pictures were drawn by wives of fishermen on an island in the East China Sea. The yellow croakers, cooked by a local family, taste very tender and juicy. You're watching the series. Along the coast. Early in the morning, the crew sets off from Huang Long Island for Taiyuan Island in Shangsi County. It takes just 15 minutes to get there. Now we are now here to this island is Taiyuan Island. This island's fish are all from the sea. As we can see, this island is the Dong Hai Island. Look, it is not far from the sea. It is only about 200 meters from the sea. 在天气暖和的时候，这样的渔村的渔家乐很有特色，就是乘坐这个海上，我们看到这些小船，跟着渔民一起出海捕鱼，然后回到渔民家住上一天。但是呢，现在真的由于天气太冷，不是体验渔家乐最好的季节。可是我们今天来到这个渔村啊，其实是要来看一看它更有特色的渔民画。这里的渔民画在整个舟山都非常的有名哦。In Donghai village, we see white two-storied houses arranged in neat little rows with signs that advertise inns and restaurants. More than 100 of the 300-odd families in the village now run inns and restaurants, primarily serving tourists. Tourists come to the village not only to enjoy the natural scenery, but also the murals drawn by the local women. Donghai village's urban art is special. Where is it? Look at this. 走过了一排白墙的房子之后，现在看到的这一排房子啊，颜色特别的鲜艳，啊，每一面这个墙上都画满了各种各样的图案。那其实这些呢，就是渔民画了。你看这一幅就能够看得出来，这些密密麻麻的网格啊，它其实画的就是一张渔网，很大的章鱼。来到这个渔村啊，千万不要忘记的就是带上相机，因为这里的渔民画不需要你花钱买，只需要按下快门就可以把这一些渔民画收藏在你的相机里了。Murals like these can be seen on the walls of over 100 houses in Donghai village. So, not surprisingly, perhaps the villagers nicknamed Mural Village. The murals depict the daily lives of the local fishing families, and over 40 of them are found on the western side of the village. Many tourists come to the island just to see these murals, and more and more women in the village are learning how to paint them. 
The crew has arranged to stay in a fisherman's home. Mrs. Lean is the leader of the mural painters in the village. Mrs. Lean displays many of her paintings in the living room on the first floor of her house. She began to paint ten years ago. <laughs> Mrs. Lean explains that very few tourists come here in the winter, so this is when the women do most of their painting. They often come to her house for a get together. That is why most of the paintings done by women depict the daily lives of their families. When the fishermen's wives paint scenes from their husbands work out at sea, they let their imaginations run wild. They apply bold colors to their pictures. Through them, they express their profound love of the sea. <laughs> The reporter paints a picture influenced by her brief visit to the island. Mrs. Lean and the other women offer her pointers. They tell the reporter not to limit her imagination and to be bold with her color choices. To others, their paintings are works of art, but to them, these paintings show on a deeper level a hope for a better future. They know very little of any formal painting techniques, but it doesn't matter, as their works come from the heart. Let's看看我们四个人的作品吧 While in Zhoushan, it's very easy to find yourself by the seaside. The sea has every island in its embrace and provides a livelihood to every islander. It's winter, so many of the women here are spending time mending fishing nets on the beach. As they hop from one island to the next, the sound of fishermen's work songs reverberates in the crew's ears. On Dai Shan Island, there are many sculptures of Yellow Croker. The islanders have even named their fishing harbour Yellow Croker Harbour. The Yellow Croker is one of the major fish varieties found in Zhou Shan. The crew meets Mr. Yu, who has been engaged in the study of Yellow Crocus for many years.
Residents of Daishan Island who are over 40 years old remember the sound of the yellow crocus from those years. The sound is similar to the croak of a frog, hence the name yellow crocus. Veteran fishermen would crouch in the cabin of their boat to listen for the croaking sound to locate the school of fish. Unfortunately, overfishing in the past decade has greatly reduced the marine resources in this area, and the number of yellow crocus has been on a steady decline while their market price has steadily increased. Since his retirement, Mr. Yu has been engaged in the artificial breeding of yellow croaker. <laughs> Mr. Yu and his colleagues raise the yellow croakers they have caught and release their fry into the sea. The number of fry they release every year is now close to one million. Fortunately, this program has started to bear fruit. Mr. Yu takes the crew to the breeding center for a look. <laughs> The yellow croaker is plump to the touch, and the scales on its head are tinted with a seashell like luster. Its body is light grey, and its fins are yellow hence the name yellow croakers. Mr. Yu says that the yellow croaker is treasured by the Chinese, but few people can eat it now because it's simply too expensive. The meat of the yellow croaker is tender and delicious, and the best way to cook it is to stir it with pickled mustard greens. He gives the crew a gift of three yellow croakers for them to have a taste of the local flavor. The chef cleans the fish, fries one of them a little, pours water into the pot and adds ginger slices, salted pickled mustard greens and some bamboo slices. After the soup begins to boil, the pot is put on a low fire for several minutes until the broth has turned a milky white. The chef then sprinkles some minced spring onion in the pot. The dish is now ready to serve. The chef hasn't added any salt because the pickled mustard greens are salty enough, thus allowing for the fish's unique flavor to shine through. The chef has also braised a yellow croaker in soy sauce and steamed one for the crew to compare. Oh, it's very hot, so I used a knife. Yeah,很鮮。那主要是這樣吃的時候,那個湯汁的味道混在裡面了。The meat of the yellow croaker in this dish is tender, and there are very few bones. When the fish is cooked with pickled mustard greens and bamboo shoot slices, it has a very special taste. The fish braised in soy sauce and the steamed fish are both very good as well. The residents of Daishan Island are proud of their yellow croakers. They cook the fish in a very simple way, and they hope that they can have a good catch year after year. Daishan 
。千百年来，生于舟山、长于舟山的海岛居民，世世代代以岛为家，以海为田。在波谷浪风劳作，耕海务渔，为人们提供了丰富的海鲜食物，同时也创造了灿烂的海洋文明和海岛风情。每一个来到舟山的人都会不由自主地爱上海洋，而同时我们也应该感谢海洋，珍惜海洋，善待海洋。沿着美丽的海岸线，远方的家沿海型摄制组在舟山的拍摄还将继续，出发。海浪洗刷了千年沧桑，才展现你向前的力量。海风吹化了千年的冰霜，才重现你停止的寂寥。多少目。是赤子眷恋的故乡，多少双手把你开创，凝视播种梦想的。